was uh, reflecting a little bit on this gospel in the, uh, in the confessional. And, uh, you know, one of the things about confession, one of the things about our spiritual journeys is we begin the Mass, and I like to always pray the Confiteor. There's two or three different things we can do to start the Mass, but, but uh, you know, I confess to Almighty God in the whole, the, 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 that prayer, it's a beautiful prayer, but it really does, it, it, it divides our sins into, into two categories, what we've done and what we failed to do. And in our spiritual journeys, you know, the awakening, the awakening from, well, I didn't kill anybody, therefore I didn't, I haven't sinned, right? Because there are people that, that kind of have that sort of mindset. Well, I, I didn't kill it. I, you know, what did I do? I haven't done anything. From that to, you know, what have I done with my life? How have I given? How have I shared what God has entrusted to me? And that kind of weight of responsibility that, that God has given gifts to all of us. And, you know, who, who was the one that got condemned in the end? The one with lots of gifts? Or the one essentially who said, I didn't get anything. That's not an excuse. In fact, it, it scares me a little bit when I start thinking I don't have anything, you know? It's like, it's like well, I don't wanna be that guy, you know? I don't, I don't wanna be the guy, I wanna be someone, because even when he thinks he has, will be taken away. This challenge, I mean, this gospel, you know, I can't say that, I can't say that it thrills me to preach on this gospel because it is very challenging. It's, it's challenging. And, and even this line about what you think you have will be taken away. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we have been given the gift of life. And God is a good and generous God who has given to us. During the course of this dialogue, this person accuses the giver of the gift of being, you know, a thief and unjust his antagonism toward god is clear isn't it i knew you were demanding person harvesting where you do not plant gathering where you do not scatter i was reading a reflection on this what do you call a person who harvests where they don't plant and gathers where they don't scatter what do you call that person a thief or, or, or an invader. And so this person is accusing the master of injustice. He says, I'm not buried. I'm not, I'm not even putting your talent. I'm giving you nothing. And there's this, so there's a, another dimension to this whole relationship here what we have done and what we have failed to do. You know, yesterday's, yesterday's gospel ended with what I, I described as a, as, you know, not necessarily a frightening, um, a frightening, but it's certainly attention getting, I don't know you. Remember that from yesterday? Some of you remember that, I don't know you. And I, I, the next, passage after this is the separation of the sheep and goats. We're not going to read that on Monday, but I'm telling you, go, go open up your Bible and read Matthew chapter 25. So here we're giving out talents. And then the, and the next thing that Jesus is going to say is, when did you feed me? When did you clothe me? When did you visit me? When did you welcome me? And so my brothers and sisters, my 
my fellow pilgrims, today, it's not just that we haven't murdered anybody. What have we done with the gifts that have been given to us? And so we pray today that we would be good stewards of the talents that the good Father has entrusted to us.